guys, it's in the frame. Oh, it started over, it started over. If it's exactly hey. what we're gonna do, are we gonna kick the ball? Or are we gonna kick it? We're just gonna like kick it back and forth. Do we have enough room here to do that? Yeah, just. Be. Hey guys, it's me, Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hey girl, if you subscribe down below if you're not already. So this is my dad, and he's been in another video and the holiday tag, and you guys really seem to like him, so he's in another video. So today we're gonna be trying the hover ball. So it's basically the indoor ball that glides. So instead of actually using like a real, um, for instance, soccer ball, you can just use it to better for indoors. So here's a picture of it. It looks like this. So it's not really like the shape of a soccer ball, but it's more like a flat surface kind of thing. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Okay, so we just open this and this is what we see. It's like a, it's really weird. I thought this would be like, I don't know, feel it. Yeah. It's uh, smooth. Yeah, it's quite interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. We're just gonna like kick it. We are also going to be like comparing it to an actual soccer ball versus that and see which is like easier to kick around. Like a compare contrast? Yeah. Now for the soccer. <laughs> oh. oh, let me try again. Oh, okay. Wow, that hurt. <laughs> Clearly, the hover ball is better. All right, you guys. So that was pretty much it for this video. I say this product worked pretty well. Um, I like the material on the back. It kind of helped it to glide better. Pretty fun for the indoors. I recommend buying it. It was only ten dollars, and it's in Asian TV. TV. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.